Hi, and welcome to this overview of the CasaTunes app for iOS. When you start up the iOS app, this is a typical screen that you will see. This screen is organized into three sections. There's the top toolbar, there's the middle section that shows what's now playing, and there's the bottom toolbar that includes the transport commands. Let's look at each of these sections in more detail. Looking at the top toolbar. The first icon there is the tray icon. This is used to reveal all the menus that are available for this room. To display the menu, simply tap on the tray icon. To close the, the tray, tap again. Another option to open the menu is to simply swipe from left to right. And to close it, swipe from right to left. Next to the tray icon is the power for the room. Pressing this button will toggle the power state, turning the room on and off. So to turn off the room, we tap it. Turn the room back on, we tap it again. Now there is a shortcut for turning a room on and off, and that is to double tap the screen. So if we double tap, turns the room off, double tap, turns the room back on. The next button is the volume button. If we tap the volume button, it allows us to change the volume in the room, it allows us to mute the room or unmute the room, and it allows us to change various equalization settings for the room if the hardware you have supports this. Another way to change the volume for room is to swipe up and down. So if you swipe up on the screen, it turns the volume up, and swipe down, turns the volume down. Next to the volume button, we display the room name and the source that's currently selected for the room. So in this case, we display the name of the room is Office, and the source that's currently playing in the Office is David's Player. To the right of the room name, you'll see various indicators. We currently are only showing one indicator, and it's an alarm clock. This indicates that there is a scheduled event for this room. If we go into the menu options, we can see that there's one alarm scheduled, and we can see that it's scheduled for the office, and it's scheduled for weekdays. It turns on at 7 o'clock and turns off at 5 o'clock. In the center of the screen, we now show the now playing information for the current room. Again, starting at the top, we can see the Spotify icon, which means that we're playing music from the Spotify music service. The next three lines are information about the current song that's playing. Easy Silence is the name of the song, Dixie Chicks is the artist, and Taking the Long Way is the name of the album. Below that, you can see the artwork cover, and below that, you can see the next song to be played. Underneath the next song is the progress bar, so you can see how far we progressed in the current song, and you can easily change the position in the current song. Below the progress bar, there is two buttons, one to change the repeat options and one to change the shuffle options. The last section is the bottom toolbar. In here, you can view the contents of the queue by simply pressing on the queue icon. Currently, there are 14 songs in the queue. You can move to the next and previous tracks. You can pause the current song, or you can play the song. And then depending on the music service and the song that's playing, there are more options. The dot dot dot. In this case, we can search Spotify for more music. We can save the current queue 
as a Castle Tunes playlist, which is a topic for another video. We can set the room to Do Not Disturb. We can view this album within Spotify. And one really nice feature is we can get more music like this. And that concludes our basic overview.